السلام عليكم guys it's me obstacle tone or samic tone someday I'll say my real name or did I say it on my first is reveal video I don't know if I said my real name I don't actually remember okay so now it's time to say another story of the NBA this is an NBA now after Nuh السلام, there was Hud السلام. now because Nuh السلام, after Nuh السلام, the population of the earth started to increase very quickly because since that time a lot of the people were part of the grandsons of Nuh السلام. so Nuh السلام's grandsons were the people that made the pop like that increased the population of the earth that time. That's where there started to be much more people around. So now then there was the the town of Ad. We know this. And they were like really excellent craftsmen. They were really good in crafting and stuff. And they were actually good Muslims too. Until Shaitan started to mislead people, as I said, he wanted to get revenge. And he did the same thing with the, the, the people in around Nuh al times. Now, Shaitan is doing the same thing again. And now, they're starting to worship the same Asnam, made out of stone. And now they started to get more like wicked and stuff, really bad and evil. They kept worshipping the Islam. It's like they just never stopped. It's like they always counted on this thing with worshipping worshiping Allah and stuff, but then for the shaitan started to mislead them. So then they started to think so then they start to like keep doing shirk and stuff. And now Hud السلام, was sent to guide the people of Ad. And now he says, Stop doing stop doing this. There's only one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you should worship him only. He is the one that should be worshipped. But they always started to like lack him off, you know, like they kept they never trusted me, honey. That's what I mean. They never, like, really had a good, like, trust in him. They always abused his trust and stuff. No. They have been, keep, they kept doing this over and again and again. And what Ali Salam was trying to tell them, even the the elder ones, the, the, the old ones, come on, they didn't even believe him. Hud Isaim tried to guide them to make them worship Allah again. But even the elders said, you are a fool. And stuff. Now, and now Hud salam said to the, to the people, I am afraid that Allah is going to punish you. But then they like to prove that your religion is real, then let the punishment come to us. Astaghfirullah, can you believe this? They said, let the punishment come to us. Now imagine if we were one of these people, and then Raja, we just like, we just say that, but then imagine the amount of regret you feel whenever that happens to you. You will be think once the punishment comes, you will be. But like one hundred and twenty percent thinking that oh I wish I've ne I wish I've just believed him. Like it's a really great amount of regret. Now they said let the punishment come to us the Allah. So now now by the time has passed there has been a severe drought. In the heart. 
Now the people came and asked Hud alayhi salam. Hud, why is this? Why is the? Why is there this huge drought and stuff? And then this, and then he he answered. He replied, because Allah is angry with you. You didn't listen to him. So that's what happened. He's angry with you now. Now he's like, you are such a fool and stuff. They just see. Even when there is severe drought is going on, and he says, because Allah is angry with you, most likely now, some people would actually start to halas like, maybe convert convert back to Islam, because like, someone's calling me. Okay. Now, again. As I said, so I was all saying, I mean, now for three, for three long years, this severe drought has happened. This has been happening for three long years. And it kept on going again and again and again and again. As they worship the Asnam, it would have increased. The day would have been hotter than the previous. It would just keep going. Until the punishment, the real punishment that um, the real punishment has arrived so now the punishment has came oh well you know well allah has told who there is now to leave ad and his muslims so now that they left the punishment has arrived and in, just imagine this like now they have been worshipping the Asnam again and again. By then they found from the sky a huge black cloud walking. That uh, not walking, I mean like not not walking, like I mean yani passing by. But then they would start to be happy, like they they started to think that it's gonna rain on them. But something the exact opposite happened. Like something opposite of the good and the rain stuff. You know, now, it, imagine this. It was so hot, really, really hot. Like, nowadays, it's really hot now. Like, this is usually, it's, going, it's really hot in the summer and stuff. Suffer. Now, what was I gonna say? Again? Now it went from burning hot, dry, to stinging cold, because now that the punishment has arrived, there was this huge, huge, huge wind. It came. It's like it came out of nowhere. It just came. It started to be extremely cold. They wouldn't even imagine. It was so cold, it started to push on them. Everything started to be crushed by the wind. The the homes and houses started to be destroyed. Poof, poof, like boomed, boomed. And then even they went to Oya Sah. And they even made like huge, huge houses, very huge houses on top of mountains. And then they even went to hide in those huge houses on the mountains and the basements. Guess what? The wind came, it collapsed. The house Kulu like collapsed. All the houses started to collapse on the wind. Everyone died, all the kafirun, everyone that was in Hat died. Everything like everything was destroyed. It's like, it's like that whenever you go to an, like an abandoned city right in Fajr, you see all these rocks and rust and bricks everywhere. And yeah, that's what happened. And still, Alhamdulillah, there was Hud salam and his Muslimin that still survived because they had left Had before the punishment. And yeah, that was all. So... 
I hope this was a really good story. I hope you all loved it and really enjoyed this video. Adios. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.